everybody. In this video, we will look at integration of JVPN business applications with React. React being the very popular currently JavaScript framework. Um, on GitHub, we already have in our business applications repository a new link or new demo called sample-react. And here you can find all the source codes um, of the demo. And you can also clone um, the demo yourself and run it locally as well which we will also do in this video. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and start this demo and then we will take a look at what it does. Um, I've already cloned here um, the sample react uh, demo and I am going to go to my sample react service module and uh, I can just as usual um, launch it uh, with the launch sh clean install so let's uh, this will as usual build our three different modules um, the KJAR module that includes all your business rules and business processes your model which is the module for reusable um, objects or data that you want to reuse between uh, the KJAR and your service or your Spring Boot application and also the service uh, module of course which then also will uh, the build the launch script will start it as well. <clears throat> Let's just wait for a second. Um, and here we go. All three modules have built and uh, our JPM business application is being started currently. All right, so the demo has started and I will access it with localhost 8090. And this is it. As you can see, this is a React application. It um, has a React front end and uh, we have also installed uh, Bootstrap onto it and I will show you the commands that you can use yourself to do that. Um, we have three sections on the page. One is the server info. The second one is the process definitions, and we have the process instances. Um, the React app um, is just, this is only front end, and it uses the REST services provided um, out of the box from your JPM business application that you have. Um, and also we show for process instances how you can add your own endpoints and have your React front end consume them easily. So this server info, um, as you can see, you can go to localhost 8090 REST server. Um, this is this information. So you already have it available, the, key, uh, the capabilities and the name of your server and the ID, which uh, all are presented here. Um, of course, we, uh, your React application will consume the JSON and not the XML. And uh, for this, what you can do is, uh, I'll show you the, the curl command. So for example, locally you can see, you can say, uh, let's open up a new tab here. You can say curl-i, we have to add the applications like uh, dash JSON accept header and add uh, this URL, oops, sorry, space. And you can see the same um, your REST API can also uh, return you JSON information, which is then easily parsed uh, by your React application, uh, front end app. So this is how kind of what this uh, demo does. It queries the REST service um, and also displays it. Now, one thing here to note is under process definitions, uh, we query them. Um, <clears throat> also via the REST API, but we all, the demo also adds a start button next to each. Uh, once the start button is clicked for the particular uh, process definition, the demo includes four very simple test processes just for the demo purposes. Um, the start button will also call the REST API uh, to start this particular business process and um, the process instance information will update. Now, due to the nature of React, 
you will see this will start uh, happen without page refresh. So started the business process. As you can see, our process instances have updated. We have a process instance ID of one and the name of the process instance, um, which is the same as the process definition. Now, if we start the third, for example, as you can see, you can start business processes and your process instance information updates um, automatically. So we have here and you can start them as many times as you wish. So that is the demo. Now let's take a look at um, how um, you can do this yourself or, or how the code looks like so you can extend it and add new features to this demo yourself. Um, if you clone this uh, sample React demo, you will basically open it in your IDE you'll get this particular structure. You have the usual three uh, modules of your JPM business application, KJR model and service. Under service, you will find a directory called React app. And this directory has been created using NPM. And the command for that, you actually use NPX, create React app. In this particular end, it was front end, but here we called it React app. So that would be the command that you use to basically create a structure. The only other thing we ha I have done here is add bootstrap to it. And here is the npm install bootstrap. And that way under node modules will add um, bootstrap. Where is it? Here. Oh, here it is. So you can start using that as well. So our front end is under source. Um, sorry, React app source, and we will take a look at our app.js. This is our entry point to our <coughs> React front end application. As you can see, it's very simple. It uh, just um, imports three of our um, components, uh, which are the server info, uh, the process definition info, in process instances info each component renders itself as one of these sections um, on the page. So we, and then we basic, basically inject them into our um, HTML. Now let's take a look at one of them. For example, let's take a look at server info. Uh, the server info um, sets a timeout for a method called get server data. This fetches, uh, uh, the REST API URL slash REST slash server with, of course, our accept header um, and basically stores the information in, 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 in the component state. Um, in the render method, uh, we basically um, then query this information and, and, and print it out as the result, which is then displayed um, here. So that's for that. The process definitions is pretty much the same thing here. We also have, uh, we fetch the REST uh, URL, REST server containers, and this is the name of our container processes. And you can see you can do the, take this URL and see that this is already available and uh, out of the box for you. Um, let's see, okay. And uh, then does the same thing and displays it. There is some checks if data is available or not, uh, as this is kind of typical thing to do with, with React components. Um, the um, start process button calls a method called handle start process, passing in the um, container ID and the process ID of the process definition. And these are here and then also uses the REST API to start uh, this particular business process. So it's slash REST server, containers, container ID, processes, process ID, and slash instances, and this will start uh, an instance of the business process. Now, for process instance info, um, it if you can see the method here, it's just slash process instances. I wanted to show here how we can actually create or you can create your own uh, REST endpoint in your um, 
business application and then use React to query it and display the data returned by that. So for that, let's go ahead and look at our uh, sample React service source main Java. Here I have only added um, app rest controller and this is it. Uh, it's got one uh, get mapping method which the pass slash process instance and this is the same path that we're querying in our React front end. Um, it produces JSON and it cannot be any simpler. I just auto wire our runtime data service which is already available service in your JBPM business application and I just return get process instances method. Now Spring Boot will already handle for me the conversion um, of of collection of process instance descriptions which is what this particular method returns to to JSON so I don't have to worry about that at all um, and that's pretty much it then our react front end uh, picks that up stores it um, in its state and here we can basically say uh, we we take the array um, and we iterate over it the array of process instance information and uh, print out its ID and its process name which you can see here so when I click on here we call rest to start the business process and then our react uh, calls our uh, rest endpoint which then queries the process instance information and uh, displays it so for example right here um, so that's pretty much it for this particular demo. Uh, you can easily extend this to do a lot more things. React is very powerful. Um, but I do want to show one more thing. Um, usually when you create apps like this, you have a separate front end React app. And then you have your business application or JPM business app running um, on a separate port. Uh, however, in this demo, for the sake of uh, just the demo itself and easy to run, if you look at your sample React service, palm.xml, it uses two plugins, uh, one of them being the front-end Maven plugin. Uh, what this plugin does is, is when you execute your Maven build, it will actually go ahead and try to install Node and NPM for you if you don't have it available. Uh, and uh, it will run the build, npm uh, run build, on your React app. So your React app will be built um, whenever you just say mvn clean install uh, or use the launch script, which does the same. Now the second plugin is the Maven Ainfront plugin, and what this does, it bundles our React app with our uh, Spring Boot app, which is your sample React service module, and it copies all the React finally produced um, uh, stuff to your um, your jar. So the final created jar is fully executable. It includes both your React app and your Spring Boot app, which uh, can easily talk to each other as you can see. Um, so that's pretty much for this demo. Uh, I hope you guys got some ideas on how to get started. If you are using React or thinking about using React, that you can easily uh, have that um, integrated with your JPM business applications. And, uh, you know, leave me some comments. Don't let, let me know what you guys think uh, and how what you think we can improve or if you have any ideas on um, what kind of integration videos you would like to see next. All right, have a great day and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.